come out to Fluent in the matchups. Which one? I don't like Corrin. <laughs> well, I don't either. <laughs> um, in the matchups, I, I I don't know which. From what I've gathered, that Corrin's got that range that can key to him. He's got the stupid spike move. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. But... Is that the, his side B? Yeah. Yeah. I almost beat him last week, and he beat me because he did like uh, oh. five of them. Isaiah is, was definitely the MVP of last week, yeah. managing to take a set off, Chris. But we're going game... Wow, this is the first time I've seen game one isn't at Smashville in quite some time. Yeah, that must have been Yeah. See, that move, yep. right there. Yep, side B. The, the bread and butter of any Corrin main. <laughs> there it is again. It's like it's like Brock Lesnar's suplex CD. We just count how many times he does it. It's really like three moves. You can either go right, left, right, or just kind Stall. Of stay there. Yep. Ari at 86%. Corrin's only taken 11 damage so far, and we're 34 seconds into the match. Pretty quick. See, he can just stall. Mind game. Wait for a move. Try and go for it. Ooh. I think. Was that. Was that. Uh, it's like Suplex City. We're up at. What is that? Four or five right now? I think that's four. You only really have to hit their initial spike. To... Yeah. This is pretty much an even game. This is the cardio. Yeah. Up throws oh. to an excellently timed up air. 125% is not that right. great. This is pretty much like zero right now. One down B could definitely kill a percent, I do believe. That was definitely mind games. I think Undertow was thinking he was going to go forward and have to get back on stage with the stun. Oh, ooh, miss low for the spike that time. That's weird. Ooh, Undertow bringing it back right now. With the forward smash. So we're at a 3% difference second stock in game one here on Battlefield. No. And as, as I, well, he's he's throwing up the side but he's not capitalizing on them. As I say that, obviously, he hits one, but he's definitely varying his gameplay. See, I feel like all the damage, no matter how, how much damage you need to work hard, he's always, always got some way to yeah. balance it out. Because of that aura, it's almost even. Yeah. How does the aura work? The higher the percentage, the more. Uh, more than 90. But what's the drawback? Okay. Two beans. Uh, Corn will get the band. I think we might see a Ryu. A Ryu out of Undertow. But. Yeah, he might switch we'll it up. See. I think he's, he can kind of work with Lucario. So he's staying Lucario and then going back to Battlefield. He wants to take his chances. Yep. Look at me now, it's <laughs> Stick to crossfitting. We're in game two of Korn versus Lucario, Undertale versus Isaiah. Lucario already getting 20 on him, 49. Yep. There we go with the spike. If you get back in the stage, you're gonna get the spike. Yes. What's that move called? The spike or the? Side, side. I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's called um, pain in the ass. <laughs> I think that's dragon lunch. Pain in the ass has a better ring to it, I think at least. And I think Undertow's thinking that same thing with 100 percent to 16 right now. He's managing to get corn, but yeah, never count out Lucario at 100 percent, man. Undertow managed to survive for a while there last game. There's the spike. 190 for rate for aura. I don't even want to see a map. That much map. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Managing to get the Shadow Ball to grab combo up throw, but both characters trading right there at 128 to 90. Yeah, I wonder if Tony needs to get too much damage as he can right here. Next time, he's going to come back zero or. Uh, DI right now is amazing. Combined with uh, Lucario's weight, he's managing to stay on it. High hits, but that up throw is still managing to survive. I think a down throw would mind. Yeah. Down smash or down beast as I thought they would in this in this game. As I say that he does it, I think that was a taunt. Yeah. He's got the ability. Yeah. Percent. He already fifty percent. Yeah. Seventy three percent. It's. I think we're just going to start treating it like, well, I will at least, treating it like Brock Lesnar's German suplex. Just count it out every time it happens to meet right now. 
Still in two stocks right now. As I say that, we go, but 73% extra credit right now. Undertow actually is a little bit better bet than he usually is because uh, previous game he was at about a stock Wait, mistake. 42%. Okay. Yep. So, don't count him out just yet. Nope. That, that, that shield was almost <laughs> counted out right there. <laughs> Undertow using F. What's that? Shadow Spear? That thing? Yeah, Aura Sphere. He's not getting it right on the dot to do the up smash. Ooh, no, down air not. racking up more. The, the, the dragon lunge is number because he's managing to shield quite a few of them recently. Yeah. As I say that, the DI of his life managing to survive. And, and, and he managed to read that punish. Here we go. Here we go. Will, will he manage to do his special oh. attack? Taking game two, Undertow with the Shadow Ball kill. Is that too or is that just over the Shadow ball, all the they're all the balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of uh, what do you think of Johnny Sin's new video? <laughs> He's a doctor, as an astronaut, he was a police. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Lilac game three. And both characters staying the same. I think Isaiah picked it when he first played as well. Or, or the tilt, but if you land it just fine or like just perfectly, you won't have that in line. That's how he's been able to shield the power shield a little bit. Um, tend to punish it by his Yeah. Notice he lands with W right after it. It's like a certain amount of time they have, or distance you have to travel. Before you One, ah, ah, ah. Or maybe you just have to hit the stage and bounce off. I don't know. That's of the of the first stocks for all three games. 72 to 73 percent. I think I'm about to lose my commentating partner right now. 83 to 70. They're definitely playing cautious right now. One charging up his neutral B, the other one throwing out less dragon lunges than he did in the previous games. I think Undertow is successfully managing to play a distance game with Corrin right now. Not many heavy hitters right now. Down throw will do 96% damage, but Undertow is still managing to survive because of Rikaru. <clears throat> As we see the DI of oh, and he manages to get back on Undertow hitting the up B to send Corn to the other side of the stage. With the up throw, not gonna be able to capitalize with the up air because the percent of damage is too high and he's going up too high. Undertow definitely playing the cautious game. Isaiah's gonna have to probably actually throw a little bit more dragon lunges. He's throwing out significantly more down bees than he previously was in the last two games. Kill 21% only difference. Undertow's gonna definitely have to capitalize on his combo game right now. Get up attack, managing to get out of uh, the up air from Corrin in this match. 25 to 36% right now here in Lilac. Last stop, game three. The mind game. 72 to 36 percent. Another punish. Or another neutralized stun, I believe. Up air into 91 percent. Uh, managing to get back base undertow out, keeping him from getting back to neutral. But as I say that, the dragon lunge again does its job and keeps him out of neutral. He up B, but he manages to get back on stage without getting truly punished. Getting the up throw, missing the up air, being spot dodged with another spot dodge, or air dodge rather. 121 to 85% right now. It's possible he can get Isaiah letting Undertow get back on stage. Rolling for his life. Undertow is definitely trying to find too high of a percent. The mind games. Ooh, a spot dodge on the edge. That was risky, but. Oh, Undertow's trick did not manage to work that time. 145 to 98% though. Up throw. Will get the kill. 